Check this little place out, this little junkyard. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> scared the out of me. <laughs> okay, so you may have heard of this little niche title called Fallout 76. Came out in 2018. I can't believe it's already been five years. There seems to be a dedicated community to this game. People love it for flaws and all. And, uh, yeah, let's just see how it's aged in the last five years. And I uh, just wanted to play Bethesda's most recent title in preparation for Starfield and just kind of see where they last left us. And if you're not familiar with my content, my name is Jordan Osmond. I like to talk about video games and movies and everything else. And uh, I like to stream a little bit here and there. All right, let's pick, uh, let's, get some, let's get some hair going here. Oof. Yikes. Yeah, you know, the uh, the apocalypse is not about looks. It does not matter. Oh, my God. He could just make like a total demon. All right, so we are in the game. Let's check it out. So I want Starfield to be really good. I want it to succeed. I'm just really hesitant based on the reception to this game. So that's that's where my hang up is. Arrivederci, Alderton. All right, let's step out into the great beyond. Ow, that's really bright, actually. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Show me that every time. Great. <laughs> Pennington. Good day, Pennington. Good day, sir. Look at all this crap. Holy hell. A lot of stuff in there. Okay, let's look at, look at this map. Third person view. I gotta get reacquainted. I haven't played a Bethesda game in years. We're gonna lie. What? It's a cold world out there. It looks like it runs pretty smooth. That's cool. That's good. I mean, I'm not saying anything revolutionary here but the, the color palette the the aesthetic they were going for in this i like it. god i hope the tv show for this or for fallout is good it takes place in la which is kind of cool nice change of scenery again ah jesus christ let's get the shit out of me jesus okay this guy's got a gun he's got a gun only room for us one of us and oh god damn the ghouls shoot at you in this ah god dude these are freaky Eat it. There's a cat in here somewhere upstairs. I will rescue you. Oh, just chilling. Let's do it. Gunslinger. Like I said, there's only room for one of us in this town. Oh, we got someone sleeping in here. We got a squatter. I'll put him down. Oh, just oh, there he is. Oh, blur. Like if you squint a little bit, the game looks pretty damn good. If you really, really squint, and if you open your eyes all the way up, it looks like it came out in, like, I think Skyrim looks better than this. Yo, what is going on here? Who the hell are you? The last thing you ever going to see. Bitch. Let's go look around. Let's check some things out. That's a cool little texture. I like that. I'm shooting off this way. Whoa. Why is it sound like it's over here now? I was just there. Oh, there it is. Public team leader. Oh, we got a adios. Shall we meet again? That's kind of cool. Come across other players. I can't believe this whole thing when it launched didn't have NPCs. That whole interaction in the bar was just wasn't even there. That just didn't exist. I can't believe they launched it like that. This was the whole novelty was that you're supposed to come across like, ah, da, ah, bitch. How do you get out of the, is this a glitch? I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, there we go. Okay, sprint forward, I guess. Yeah, I just can't believe they didn't really have any, like the whole novelty was that like the only NPCs you come across are other players and then like obviously enemies. But that was that was like it. That was the extent of like the human interactions in the world. So far I've noticed like a little bit of pop in, but nothing crazy. Working out a, a hardly working eh? Further into the mine. All right, uh, going around with you. Oh my God, they all have guns. Oh, no scoping people, quick scoping people. God damn it, I keep pressing. Oh my God, can't get these controls right. God damn it. Okay, where's this dude at? Ah, uh, I don't know where this mine's taking us, but I am assuming it is somewhat important. Isn't where I came in, it's just taking me towards that marker. Oh wait, no, no, it's, no, yep, here we go. Some sort of mysterious door. Oh, sh I think it did just take me to <laughs> I think I just went backwards. I don't think I went backwards. Oh no, it took me to wherever this is. See, this is cool. This is a cool little area. I like this. Oh, get. Oh, God. What the hell happened to you, man? I think visually, from afar, it doesn't look too 
too shabby, although... Oh, you know, what are you doing, Annie Black? Those are for children. I would never read magazines. So, uh, uh, it's, it's a doggy dog world, Air. It had to be done. You know, it makes it a little more tolerable to play this if, like, you just imagine it came out back in... 2013, right at the end of the PS3 life cycle. It was a little experiment they put out. Just, you know, just a, just a little experiment. Of course, everybody hated it because it was shit. Check this little place out, this little junkyard. Oh, Jesus fucking <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> ah, that scared the crap out of me. I didn't even expect that. Ah, dang. Oh. So far, it's just been like texture pop-ins and weird little visual glitches on occasion. 25 caps to claim this workshop. All right, I'm sure there are 25 caps in this man's house. I will say, I'm getting some major nostalgia. It's just reminding me a little bit of Bethesda games. I just have not played, well, duh, it's a Bethesda game. Of course it is. I just haven't played a Bethesda game in a very long time. All right, well, so there are no caps in here. There's some very tasty looking glizzies over here. All right, well, I guess I'm just not getting that workbench. I gotta say, I'm impressed with how much they've been able to spin things around and turn this into a playable uh, game. It's very cool to see. And uh, I've not played a Bethesda game in a very, very long time. So it is nice to, yeah, I keep getting that visual glitch like right here. Um, it is very nice to uh, dip my toes back into this. Getting over to this lighthouse, we're gonna see what's up in here. I did come across another player earlier, and that was kind of cool coming across somebody else alive. They very much uh, allow you to just start the game. Like, there's not much of a tutorial here if you don't want it. So I do like that they kind of let you just take this at your own leisure. Never understood how to play these. <laughs> I don't even care, honest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Ah! They're so fast. <laughs> Shit. I'm sure there's something cool at the top of this thing. Hi, Priestess. I was right. The fireflies come here to mate. They go a little crazy and they got hurt pretty bad, but I was able to gather enough goo to light the lamp. Now I just have to wait. The great Mothman will come. Okay. What the hell? Is this a player base? Oh my god, it is. No! Left. Pretty neat. Wow. I can't wait to see what they do with the, uh, what, like, what people do with the ship creator in Starfield. I think that's gonna be so cool. And like for me, that is easily the most intriguing part of that game in a weird way. Like but it's just one of the coolest features to me is how much of a free form approach they took to ship creation and design. Oh dude, a beer hat? Hell yeah. It wasn't a good day in the river, was it? This is playing really smooth. Oh, he's not mad or he's not happy. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm so bad. There we go. Buddy. Gotta put you down. Your weapon's break in this. Are you shitting me? Everybody complains about Zelda and the weapon degradation in that game, but I, I think that's by design. It's supposed there's there, you're not supposed to be able to hang on to your weapons. The whole uh, whole half the battle is being able to adapt to each scenario. So like the game really forces you to use everything, and I think that's fun. Uh, and I, I guess that's maybe what they're going for a little bit in this, but I don't know. I, I, my mind can be changed on it, but. I've just never really been crazy about weapon degradation. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! What the? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. This is so clunky. All right, what were we looking at here? What blew up? What the hell was that? I don't even know. Did I shoot something? Yep, don't know what that was about. All right, we got a big city coming up here. So, damn, I got a lot of, uh, <laughs> I got a lot of quests to do. I'm having fun exploring the world. Like, I don't really, I don't know. I'm not really, uh, I don't really care to play the quests right now. Mm. Oh, shit. Mmm! Oh, <laughs> Damn, these guys are dead eyes. Ow, that is blinding. That is unnecessarily red. Ooh, got a fire over here. Someone's here. I'm taking 10 years to get over there because I got to stop and look at everything. Uh, brain fungus soup. Mmm. Breakfast of champions. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, Christ. Never played Elder Ring. I thought about getting it, but never pulled the trigger yet. I had always wanted to get into uh, FromSoft games. Couldn't ever do it. Uh, they were too difficult for me. I, I own Elder or Dark Souls 3. 
Oh my god, dude. How many freaking enemies are in this game? Holy shit. Dude, this city is just loaded. I, what did I walk into? They just keep coming. Holy shit. Yeah, Elden Ring is a very good entry point if you're like looking to get into FromSoft games. Yeah, I, I always put off their games because they were too difficult for me. I'm not very good at games. I guess the best way to put it is it has a nice learning curve. And it taught me a lot about how to have patience with my games and what I was playing and how to just kind of trust the process and, and experiment. Now I approach a lot of different Souls-like games um, totally differently. Like now I want to go back and play them all. Thanks for clicking. And uh, I will uh, see you on the flip side.